Hey everybody, Modern Native here with a special rant in the woods. Wild rant in the woods dedicated to Corporal's Corner. First off, Corporal Sean Kelly. Uh, I was a big fan. Big, big fan. Watched just about every video you put out. I was making my way back through the list. And I started noticing something, and uh, I can't support someone who behaves how you've been behaving, um, the, the true you that I've seen. <coughs> so I'm not like everybody else, and I can actually see through the fluff. I do want to say thank you for your service, whatever it may have been. Um, but that doesn't entitle you to respect or fame when it comes to YouTube. Uh, and it seems like that's your attitude. And as a personal opinion, my belief, nobody, anybody who uses the, the their military status, their, their military service status, anybody who uses that as an avenue of fame or... or uh, or, or monetary gain, or something like that. Like that's a that's that feels disrespectful to the majority of service members who have sacrificed so much for us, and using that as an avenue for personal gain. It, it just shows that you do not understand the true reason and purpose for serving your country's military and it, to be in service of the military. That's just, that's my personal opinion as a general rule. Um, and kind of appears like Corporal may fall into that, but here's the thing. I have reached out to him for a long time. I tried to reach out to him. I sent him repeated messages, comments. Uh, I gave him so much support. I was very positive. But even on Instagram, where you can see when they've looked at it, he left me unread. He would open up my message, look at it, leave. Did that repeatedly. I'm like, whatever, I'm sure it happens a lot. But the difference is, what and how you respond to really sets the tone for your behavior, your personality, and really shows us something about you. Now... Like I said, I, I messaged him repeatedly, and I was left on red. All positive, just trying to share, uh, just uh, sharing my support for him, telling him uh, that, you know, between all the guys that I've been watching, they inspired me to share my journey uh, on YouTube, the reason I've been doing this. I made a previous shout-out of all the greats. The re you know, they, they, the greats are the reason why I started um, and, but here's the thing, I couldn't get him to react, but the minute I gave him criticism, well, I gave him advice, he took it as criticism, I got a response, like, that, right there. Now, when someone is very positive to you, and you ignore them, and then someone is negative to you, and you instantly respond, really tells me something about your character. Now, I've got screenshots at the end of the, all of my interactions with him, and I even have some screenshots of his interactions with other people on comments. Got something to say about that later, but... I'll play it all in a slideshow at the end so you guys can pause it, watch it, whatever you need to do, just to see that I'm not talking up my ass. I have proof about my interactions with him, my intent, and... How I finally got him to respond, which is just fucked up, honestly. So, my main issue is his, his negative interaction. He is, he, he, and that's, that's across the board. He responds more 
to people who are negative. He has more to say to people who are negative, who are criticizing him, who are calling him out for shit. He, res he reacts and responds to that instant. When you can see so many people giving him love and support and trying to reassure him that they watch him and this, that, and the other, and that, you know, they really support him, he'll just throw that heart on there, which honestly doesn't mean crap because you get that on your notification on your phone. You heart it, it goes away. It's easier than swiping. A like and a reply, that is interaction. That, that is response. Sorry about the smoke. Uh, people who are fans of his ask him genuine comp ask him genuine questions. They'll generally get a snide response like, "Oh, well, if you look through my channel, you'll find it," or if you actually paid attention, you'd hear it, or something like that. And it's like. Your tone, your attitude, sets the sets the ground for sets the stage for everything on here and for how you should be. And it, and his general attitude to the vast majority, even positive people, he'll still kind of give like it's a half-assed all thanks or or something like that. It's a thanks for watching. It's a, such a I swear it's probably a quick button by this point on his phone when he's responding. And something else, he's super block happy whenever anybody calls him out on something, gives him any sort of criticism, or discredits his YouTube conspiracy theory. Now, like I said, I went through th his YouTube conspiracy theory is he believes that YouTube doesn't want him to succeed, and they're blocking him, and they're not giving out notifications and everything else. Here's the thing. YouTube don't give a fuck who you are. Big, small, whatever. It is about interaction. It is about responses. It is about how much people are actually watching you. Now, I'm sorry. When you sit there and bitch in every single one of your videos for five minutes at a time, every single video, people are going to skip through. So that's five minutes of watch time that you're losing. Or people start hearing that and they're like, oh, he's bitching again. So whatever, fuck off. And they'll, they'll back out. Because that's not why we're watching. That's not why we're watching it. That's not what we're there to watch. We don't want to sit there and listen and, and hear you complain about how fans, us, viewers, aren't doing enough to support you, aren't sharing you enough, aren't watching you all the way through. We aren't liking it. We aren't going to your store. We aren't clicking to the next video and watching all your playlists. It, that is not the message you want to send to people. You are complaining about it, and it's making us not want to watch you anymore, so you wonder why you started out with you have 750,000 subscribers. Which, for the record, you are succeeding on YouTube. You have uh, three quarters of a mil subscribers. Your watch time is nuts you are going through a dip because you won't stop bitching now that was part of the reason I reached out to him is about that, that, that five minute complaint that he always has he always complains about it always mentions it on top of dropping two separate plugs in his video for his store and to subscribe in the first place now, of course, a lot of people drop the plug. A lot of people do that. But here's the thing. That is f like four or five points in your video that you are whining about YouTube or pushing your YouTube. You don't need that many plugs. That puts people off. I don't do a single plug in any of mine because that puts me off. So, if you enjoy it, if you want to see more, you'll watch it. If not, YouTube will suggest it if you've actually watched it or not. But I gave him this advice. I told him, and you'll see it in my screenshots. I told him, it was simple, actually pleasant advice. I, t I contacted him and I was like, listen, 
I've, I've obviously seen that you, you know, you're unhappy with your watch time and your subscribers uh, returning and getting their notifications and this, that, or the other. But maybe try. I bet you, in the next three videos, if you don't, you don't mention that bit. Like, drop your plug, drop your store, yada yada. Do your plugs. But don't mention your subscribers not watching. Don't mention the notifications. Don't mention the YouTube conspiracy. And I bet you, guaranteed, within the next three videos, if you do that, your numbers will improve. Now, he shot it down, acted like it, you know, it, oh, they only promote the gods. They don't care, you know, it, they don't see that you, you you plug in your YouTube or whatever, your, your store, so they, you know, they don't care. But... Yeah, the gods, that's his thing, the gods. I call them the greats, the ones that he's referring to as the gods, but that's because they do it great. They go out there and they enjoy it. They have a good time. I don't have to sit there and listen to them bitch. Do you want to sit by the fire and listen to someone bitch? I mean, my wife doesn't even want to do this video because it's just bitching by the fire, but it's... I want you guys to know who you're dealing with and who you're actually, actually supporting. The real person. Now, I gave him that advice, right? And he shot it down. If you go and look at his last video, well, his second to last video, because I will be uploading this Sunday at the same time that his is being released. I'll be uploading this. And so it'll be his second to last video if you're watching it. But uh, it was his raised bed on the footboards of his truck. Now... It was actually an enjoyable video. He had fun. He enjoyed himself, and you could see it. But the thing is, he took my advice. He didn't mention it. He made one snide comment, one little comment, which even people mentioned that it was kind of shitty that he said it. He said he, he was eating steak instead of bacon, because apparently it was cheaper. I guess so. Last time I checked, steak is more expensive than bacon, but, you know. Anyway, he got, he, he was saying he had it because it was cheaper because the bacon prices are outrageous, and he said that the bacon will return because he's the bacon lord, as people put it. So, he, he want, he said that the bacon will return when the views improve. And I've, I think I took a screenshot of it, but someone actually commented, the bacon will improve when the views improve. Or the bacon will return when the views improve. That sounds like the beatings will stop when morale improves. How does it make fucking sense? You take away something that people enjoy because you aren't getting the what the, the reaction you want. That's childish. That's counterproductive. And just kind of asinine. Honestly. And it's it's arrogant that you believe that because someone subscribed to you previously. That they're just entitled, that, that you are entitled to their view and their time to watch your stuff. Now here's the thing, you keep mentioning that it's a free video, it's free, it's free, it doesn't cost us anything. Time. It costs us time. Five minutes to listen to you whine about YouTube every day, that's five minutes that I'm not getting back. That's not something that I want to do. And you're so block happy anytime someone gives you any negativity... You always be like, oh, well, you don't have to worry about it anymore. That means he's blocking you, putting you on mute, so that way he doesn't have to listen to you and deal with you. Because he doesn't want to have criticism. He doesn't want to have negativity. He doesn't want to have advice from someone who's right, that you took advice from. And then I responded to him after I watched that video, and I even told him I enjoyed it. It was a great video. It was a lot better than he had been doing. And I was like, I see you took my advice. And then he denied it. Well, I didn't take any advice. And they still throttled it. It was only three hours after the video, and he was already saying that it was throttled. You're releasing it at 9, between 9 and noon on a Sunday. I bet you most of the people, a lot of the people in your subscription list actually attend the Sunday services for, Christ, for Christian and religious services. Bet you Sundays are kind of a family day and a busy day, so... That is why your views trickle in throughout the week and why you're not getting this freaking huge jump anymore. 
uh, just, just a thought on that because just because three hours and you said it was throttled when I got to it within two hours and it had what 112,000 views What's it? it was thousands of views already like that's not doing too bad in my book I mean so being a hypocrite kills me that is one of my biggest pet peeves being a hypocrite you do what you say you say what you mean and you mean what you say which also involves doing what you say so that's that now you took my advice and then denied it that's ridiculous like dog oh, you just can't handle getting advice from the little guy and also what makes you a hypocrite is in that last video where you took my advice on top of that you mentioned your buddy who just created his YouTube, who didn't have shit for numbers yet. He was like in the hundreds, I think. And you gave him a shout out and you, you put him up there and featured him on your channel because he had an interesting description, which I liked it. It's bringing, val I hope, uh, uh, bringing value to your life comment thing. And you mentioned that it was, this was about community and connection and growth, yada, 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 and helping people and sharing, yada, 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 which is something I mentioned to you. And you mentioned that you fell out from that and that you need to get into it and it reminded you to be a better person, yada, yada, some shit like that. And I just couldn't help it because it just, I couldn't listen to the horse shit falling out of your mouth because you were literally responding to me while I was watching that. And you told me to take a back seat. You disrespectful fuck. And I'm sorry, people who don't like that, but that's that's you. That was very disrespectful. I gave him advice, he took it, denied it, and then I was still trying to be pleasant with him. And he was arrogant. Told me I had no experience, I had no knowledge, and I had nothing to say on anything because he's got a th he's got a channel for 13 years and it's just a, it's successful. Well, if it's successful, why are you bitching about it all the time? For one. For two, I made you a bet. You ignored it. Now, if you still follow through with those three videos and your numbers improve, that I'm just going to say it's a shitty move, just for the record. I did bet you that was my advice, but whatever. But I did challenge you, and my challenge still freaking stands. Ah, hang on, I'll get, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. My bad. You don't respect anybody, but you feel entitled to respect. And on top of that, I've watched you copy little guys. Jeremy Wolf put out an overlay on truck video. And literally, two weeks after that, you start doing your overland trucks. Because Jeremy said he was going to transition into that. You literally hopped on the trend. You literally copied and tried to say that you were doing something different. Because you didn't you didn't see anybody involving bushcraft with the overlanding. Uh, yeah, people do. A lot of people. They just aren't as big as you, so you can grab it and claim it as your own. But if you look at the timestamps of when things have been uploaded, you've actually done that a lot. You've, you've copied Dave, you've copied Dan, you've copied uh, Jeremy, you, you know, you've copied... You tried to copy TA, but that didn't fucking work out for you. You... You regurgitate. And because it's got your stomach acid on it, you think that it works. Now, this is me being very opinionated at this point, just saying. I'm just... I noticed all of this. But I challenged you. Because you said I had no experience and everything else, and I kind of took that as you're also kind of claiming something about my capabilities. So, I challenged you. You already blocked me, so you didn't see it. So, I'm reminding you here. Any survival challenge of your choice... Anytime, anywhere. And I will last longer than you. I will smooth it longer than you. Guaranteed. Just because you want to feel like hot shit. And you want to feel like you are Mr. Billy Badass. And you're so big and this, that, and the other. That's my challenge. Leave me on red. Sorry, everybody. That is my honest truth. I believe people should know who they're dealing with. 
And that is behavior and attitude that I don't believe anybody should be endorsing. That's, that's falsehood. That's being egotistical. It's, what was something, being a hypocrite? Being a hypocrite, yes. Uh, I'm saying anything else? The biggest pompous? Yeah, arrogant, being pompous. The entitlement, the entitlement. I keep just, coming back to that because you're just like, oh, well, you should be doing this. You should be watching more. I'm sorry, but if you want people to watch more, make it so we want, want to, to watch, watch it. it. Yeah. That is, if people aren't watching your shit, that is something you are doing wrong. That is, and what has been consistent through all of your videos. Bitching. Non-stop bitching for a total of five minutes to ten minutes. Uh, he hasn't broke five minutes. He hasn't broke past five minutes yet. I don't nah. know. Sometimes it feels like it. It feels like it. Yeah, because if I, a thirty-minute video and I feel like over half of it, oh, the message I get is, "Oh, my numbers aren't good enough." Here, I did this. If you like it, did you watch it? Did you buy my shit? Well, I, I need more. You have seven hundred fifty thousand, dude. Which awesome. Happy you got to that point. Don't know how, and I don't know how people haven't seen this side of you when I can see it in through all of your comments. All of them. Anybody wants to, go ahead, scroll through all of his comments. You will see it. Whenever you see a reply from Corporal, click on it. Bet you. You will see, you won't have to worry about that anymore, a lot. And then you'll see that person never comments again because he muted them and blocked them because he can't handle any sort of negativity or criticism or even advice from someone who doesn't have experience. Sorry, 13 years on YouTube, you should be doing a lot better. Just saying. Wild Rant in the Woods, dedicated to Corporal's Corner. Fuck you. Have a nice day. Get out there, be a native, and go beast.